This sure is an episode of Radio Rothingham that exists. It, it is not sponsored by anyone, but I'm, I'm having a blonde Weizen. Anyway, this is Radio Rothingham, the least professional podcast on the entire internet. That, 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 that heavy breathing and clicking oh, noise that yes. you hear in the background is the Astra. <laughs> See? That's it, mm, we got Herr Bakfoon. We got Secular. Uh, who's lagging pretty uh, severely. Yeah. Uh, there's the Artrix. Hi. And there's Severius. Well, that's a lie. Yeah, I know. License Slender. Anyway, we're here to bring you a new episode. And um, there, there's a bunch of stuff that happened. And we're going to use this opportunity to discuss it. But first, I'm going to pour this, this drink. Also, I'm going to draw a Pauline from Mario uh, Odyssey. Because Beck actually commissioned me to do that. So, I'll be doing just that. And then I'll be rich. I mm. doubt it. Well, he'll pay, he'll, pay, he'll pay me 10 euros. So, yeah. What? 10 euros? I thought I understood 10 exposure. No, 10 euros. 10, 10 Dogecoin. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Beck, but you can't pay me an exposure. Back is like those ransomware people, and he wants you to pay in Dogecoin. He's already exposing himself for free for fuck's sake. Alex, stop exposing yourself. No, it's I won't. Decent. That's that's actually a good question. Uh, how much is one Dogecoin worth? Uh, I think a, one Dogecoin is like it's a like fraction of of a cent. I, I think it's like point zero three dollars. But I will have to go on the internet. In the internet. To Dogecoin. Um, okay, so the code of, of Dogecoin is XDG. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I still don't know the value, however. Um, I'm, su I'm surprised okay, uh, XC. 200, 200 Dogecoin is 0 0.54 USD. <laughs> So 1,000 Dogecoin is, is 2.69 dollars. Nice. Mm, I think it actually gone up. I'm pretty sure it, it used to be that, worth a lot less than that. Yeah, that, yeah, that, therefore, I was not entirely right. I thought one Dogecoin is 0 0.03 dollars. Actually, it's 0 0.003 dollars. Not even that. 0, 0, 0, 2, 0.0269. So one US dollar is three hundred twenty uh, seventy two Doge coins. So yeah. At at least he didn't want payment in bitcoins. I mean if he has ten bitcoins for his this drawing he would be rich. Yep. Yeah. The problem with bitcoins is they are now too expensive and you have to pay in milli bitcoin. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's pretty much what they uh what they suggested. When Bit Bitcoin was catching on, they were like, "Oh yeah, but if, if it ever, ever catches up and you actually can pay pay with Bit, Bit Bitcoin in store, then it would be listed as a uh, milli Bitcoin or micro Bitcoin, something like that." Anyway, topics. Um, does anyone have a topic they want to bring up right now? A topic. Uh, Russian hackers. Of course, Russian hackers. Always Russian hackers. Yeah. So, so what about them Russian, Russian hackers? hackers? That they have the monopoly on, on hacking on this planet. Mm -hmm. that we, that Everyone who I disagree with is a Russian hacker. Well, I think Artex is a Russian hacker too. Oh yeah, I'm definitely a Russian hacker. I don't sound like That's one. What a Russian hacker would say. They are I not known for their subtlety. Mm -hmm. Anyway, there's, there's been a virus disease. Oh yeah, I heard about that. They come to people's PCs and they're like, "Stop PC! Oh, you are mine now. Now pay me three hundred bitcoin." Oh, so in, like so in other words, three hundred dollars in bitcoin, which is like that's like 
It's like wanting people to, to give you two eggs in apples. So in other words, um, it, it's ransomware. Yes, it is ransomware. But mm -hmm. I, I'm just uh, kind of, I mean, okay, I, I see the reason. It, Bitcoins are very useful for these people because they are not easily traceable. But, um, well, the problem is a normal person who gets their computer virus head, uh, this normal person has no idea what a Bitcoin is. So even if they wanted to pay, they probably can't pay because they're like, what is this Bitcoin? Hmm, probably should look it up on the internet. Wait a moment, I don't, have a I don't have a computer. Well, that's the thing. They have a computer. It's just that their files are encrypted. Um, so they, they can go and look at the internet what a Bitcoin is because they have to pay Bitcoin. Yeah, see how that but but here's here's oh, the here's the thing. It's oh, yeah. it's it's, the, it's it's all about scale of economy. So what they do is they infect as many computers as as they can. And even if only a half a percent of all those infected computers actually ponies up, that's still like a few thousand dollars that they make. Yeah. Well, usually the encrypting takes a long time, but this one goes. This Russian hacker, this particular Russian hacker was very clever and decided to encrypt only the boot record of the disk. So it's like, all the way there, the disk just has no idea how to work. But that sounds like well, it could be circumvented fairly easily. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I, 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 am not a, I am not a hard disk artist, I don't know. Mm -hmm. okay. The thing is that, that these, these ransomware people are very proud their work and they were trying to be very business-like and professional so they actually provided an email address to, to communicate with the people right mm -hmm. and and facilitate sending of all, all those bitcoins oh the problem is the email provider didn't like it and blocked their address so even if there were actual people who tried to pay it wouldn't go through top gag it is it's the topest of gags also mm. Apparently, Czech Republic was the min most infected country out of ten. Yeah. So is it is because is it because yeah. you were promised free beer with with every virus? Uh, maybe. Well, the first country that was the most infected country, most infected country of 2017, that's a nice award. Uh, it was Fiji, Ukraine. So obviously Be that, that caused suspicions that it's actually Russian hackers trying to so, so I don't know, an Ukraine to computers. So it wasn't a Ukraine, it's the Ukraine. Well that makes sense. Yeah. But since we are speaking of bitcoins, actually graphic cards manufacturers announced uh, a line of GPUs that are uh, speci specifically meant for mining, like optimized. Of the, those, those. I think MSI announced like like a G, uh, GTX 1060 that's optimized for mining. Well, that they've been. I'm calling it differently, but there, there have there has been dedicated mining hardware for a long time now. Um, there was there was a time when. Uh, well, do... well, that that's ASIC. That's taking video cards and putting them in a box. Uh, yeah, now, but I mean, like now, graphic cards yes. manufacturers are like saying, "Look, we have this yes. graphic card." Now there are special cards from yeah. from manufacturers that usually manufacture cards and nothing else. Mm -hmm. So I, I was kind of prompted by Ethereum yeah. because Ethereum was like, "Sub, I'm made to not be mined by ASIC." So all, all, all those extra, extra, extra expensive boxes you have, they are worth shit now. Buy video cards, <laughs> mine this. And then people bought video cards to mine this, and, and video cards went in price by 70%. And now you have, I don't know, GTX 950s or 1050s <laughs> se selling for $400 on eBay, and it's like, what? So I, I, guess, I guess even the companies notice, and they're like, well, maybe we, we shouldn't just make money hand over fist on this. Maybe we should make more money hand over fist on this. And yeah. they should make dedicated video cards. It's a silly thing anyway, a video card without any video output. It is. I think it has video outputs, just way less. One. 
if you're lucky. <laughs> Just hidden somewhere on the card, you have to find it first. You have to like uh, it's it's like those 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 iPhones that you know you just have to to drill in a hole and and there's a perfectly good oh, HDMI I, port I, right there. Did I mention the the Russian hackers actually took out Chernobyl? Why why would they do such a thing? The, the, well, because Chernobyl has a computer in it. And oh, so it's so they just have. Computer, Decided, decided to get virus, so they had to switch to, you know, uh, monitoring the stuff in analog way. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, and, and the official Ukraine Twitter reacted to this by meme. So mm -hmm. As yeah, you do. Fun. As you do. I mean, you got got a meme all the way. Okay, to break this awkward silence, I'm just gonna, you know, bring up the follow following topic and Well, it is tangibly related to re. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so yeah, um last week there was VidCon. We we kind of touched up upon it. It it's a thing that happened. A, b a bunch of artists the uh, vid Con, coin, whatever. Anyway, a bunch of autists came together. It was like one big autistic party. The autism was, you know, through the roof. It was, it was kind of insane. But it happened. The only way that there could be more autism would be if it was a a con of the event at autist. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, and the, and 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 they and they tried that shit back. That. And they tried that shit in 2007, and it didn't really go anywhere. There was an actual deviant art com, and and it wasn't oh very successful. Is at least the Sonic people show up? I don't think so. It it was kind of a circle jerk of it like. Doesn't make e sense. I mean, they they gotta go fast. That they gotta go fast. Well, maybe that's the thing. They were going so fast that um. They missed it. <laughs> That they came no. to the place and it wasn't there yet, so they got bored and, and went fast somewhere else. Yeah. Exactly. They they went there and there was no one around, and they were just you know checking all the panels to see if it's there was anything enough, going on, but they were going so fast that no one even even saw them, because they're going faster than the speed of light. They came, they came to the place and it wasn't happening yet, and they were like, this event is not fast enough for us. Mm -hmm. Got gotta go. Gotta go pretty quick. <laughs> I guess. Mm -hmm. But but yeah, uh, so VidCon happened, and we got we got a few. You know, they they do say that uh, that great minds uh, discuss um, concepts, and good minds discuss uh, oh. events. And small minds discuss people, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank thankfully, we are one of those small minds, so you can mm. have this yep. part of information that you would not usually well, have. Wouldn't that mean that uh, people listening to our podcast are small minds? No, Fuck they yeah, are discussing it. No, oh, right, right. they're just listening into it. You know, we we t we we will we'll gladly take the bullet for you. We'll we'll be the small minds <laughs> for you. We are discussing people, so you don't have to. Exactly, like that one guy that always says something similar at the beginning of every episode. And, and, I, and, and remember, all the stuff that we have is officially sanctioned, and if, if you go into the internet and find it yourself, that's illegal. Hmm? So listen to what we say. Yeah, we're we're the official source. We're even more official than than the CNNs and the, the mainstream media that tells you that no, you're not allowed to look this up. We're we're the only v viable source for your information. We're allowed to do this. You as a peasants, you're you're not allowed to do that. We're we're allowed to browse WikiLeaks. I swear. <laughs> also, this hat isn't shaping up pretty good. Anyway. So, so there was this little thing 
It was a little panel and and a bunch of people were sitting there just just watching the panel and and then the the, the one in the panel's like yeah you're you're human garbage so so yeah the um the, the people organizing vidcon actually got back to that because um in case you have, 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 have missed it you know, it was Sargon of Akkad. He, he went to the United States. Apparently, it was his first time in the United States, too. So, he, he, he went there. And he and his elk decided, you know what? Let's go to Anita's panel. Let's just see what she has to say. Let's just go there. Just sit there. And just see what she has to say. And maybe we can have, maybe the unthinkable happens. And maybe we can have some sort of conversation. Who knows? So, so they went there and one of the first things apparently that Anita said was something along the lines of yeah uh, so so people like Sargon sitting over here are constantly making videos about me all the fucking time so he's sitting right there he's a garbage human he's a shithead and uh, yeah I don't like him very much and as as some of you might recall or you know the more observant people might realize you know what this this vidcon has rules and one of the rules is that you you shouldn't you know talk shit about other people that's not inclusive you see thank you Astra. and anyway so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so so Sargon was like, yeah, hey, Vidcon, listen up. You got these rules, right? These are your rules. You set them up this way. And it kind of implies that um, the, this Anita person, she kind of is in breach of those rules. She kind of she kind of broke them. Uh, this is not exactly what you guys are going for. So maybe you should look into that. Maybe consider not having her on, on your on your convention i am offended well he was quote unquote offended obviously he wasn't but he, he was you know trying to show one thing and that is you know whether there's a double you standard offended. Yeah, well. yeah obviously i mean if they, if they have rules that state that if somebody gets offended you have to stop then the best thing to do is to get offended at them. Well, that that's exactly what he did. And the reaction from the staff of VidCon was kind of akin to, yeah, you know, Anita, you did break the rules. That's very true. But it's, it's, uh, it's we wrong. Know what's going on here. The, the Sargon guy is kind of a mean guy, so um, okay, uh, yeah, and he's you know he has a beard, and uh, nah, we're not we're not going to to uh, we're not going to do anything basically. You can uh, you can still have your panel. We we understand the tensions between you and Sargon are kind of high, so uh, so yeah. So yeah, what do you guys think about this? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Mhm. Mm so, do you think this is the right decision made by by the Vidcon staff to basically just let slide? I think I, I, don't think, I think it's the right decision in the con because they kind of knew what would happen if they actually, you know, if it had consequences for Anita because they knew that the SJWs would cut their throats open, basically. Yes, I don't think it was the right decision, but I think it was the left decision. <laughs> well, they, they did obviously capitulate to, to uh, well, either their own ideological preferences or they were just it, it's more 
that, that they know that a huge part of the people that are going there most likely are IJWs. So if they piss them off, they will like boycott VidCon and then, uh, yeah. Well, it is true. It is keep that all. VidCon. Video games. It's a proven fact. What is a proven fact? But if they, if, if they, if they boycott VidCon, they'll just leave VidCon to shitlords. Well, this no, it, those are the real target audience anyway. Well, it, it is true that VidCon is a very left-leaning uh, convention. So it, it was it was even it was already kind of a surprise that that these quote unquote shit lords were allowed to be there. Shit lords. Shit. In other words, decent human beings. <laughs> They're lords of all the shit. Come on. But but yeah, it's it's still hilarious that uh, you know just 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 what happened. And also, uh, apparently, um, Lacey Green and Sargon have you know while Nita sitting there being the victim. You have someone like um, they went and met and talked like real people who exist. I know, right? They talked, you know, they talked about their differences, and they set them aside, and they were like, "Sir Gon's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry," because you no, know, he 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 did some things in the past to um, to to Lacey that. He, he probably regrets by now and and that's something that that happens you know people people change yeah and they talked it over hugged it out He's gay. I live. Hmm? and then, then then she kept living he kept living they probably even had a what do you drink in america um uh, but wiser double maxi diet pepsi <laughs> extra sugar well yes. no sugar is diet sugar extra corn syrup mm. all the the diet corn syrup. syrup diet corn syrup <laughs> made of real aspartame real it's it's uh well, it's... I think it, it was diet corn obviously <laughs> see this, this this corn it's it's not made of normal corn it's made of corn that's only half as big Mm-hmm. Makes you die. You know, yeah, it's, it's much better than cocoa life stuff that has no corn in it at all. So, it's sad as as it has this this, this stevia shit in it, whatever that is. Oh, and obviously, since that it's America, you have to tip the corn. Mm hmm. Yeah. Gotta tip it. Then you'll be rich, maybe. The corn will be rich because you tip it. Yep. Uh, well, until it, it needs to pay taxes, obviously. Then won't uh, be rich. Yes, yes, obviously. I mean, t t tipping is a very powerful tool in America. Hmm? Because yep. if, if somebody on the way stuff pisses you off, then you can do something bad to them and, and tip them only like 30% of the tip. So, the so the usual 200 percent. So it's it's 30 percent of the no, tip so you were going to give. No, 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 no. It's, it's tipping, right? You have to give them at least 200 percent of of the thing you paid. Oh, okay. But now you're going to only give them 30. It, it's it's almost like the imperial system where. It's almost like the imperial system of measurements where you're like, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a quarter inch and a uh, two eighths, uh, five sixteenth. Uh, so the now we just need... And an and inch and who knows how many other body parts. Mm -hmm. Six sixteen on pe appendixes and uh, eight, eight, yes. eight spleens and one uvula. And probably a lot of feet. Yes. 
They have a thing for the feet. Six feet, seven toes. Oh my god. <laughs> seven feet? I agree. As you can, as you may have noticed by now, Astro's playing the uh, play, playing the Overwatch, and for for James, I'm not drawing Overwatch characters. Who are you drawing? In before Pauline. An character. Yeah, obviously. So 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 what uh, would? He, he, he's going to wear a blue hat and and have a beard instead of a mustache, and he's he's going to be called. I don't know, Stefano, but he's, he's going to be Mario. Mm. The thing about Mario Odyssey is, from what we have seen, Mario can't uh, take control of characters that already wear hats. Oh, is that is that a fact? Yes. Oh. Well, that actually kind of makes sense. I'm surprised that they have that level of consistency it makes it because one of the villains has like this metallic hat right Such death. so so yeah mm. it makes sense that you can't take game is so deep man different hats too deep six me it's it's actual cool. head simulator that's angle mario, mario does what tf2 didn't oh they still have a lot of hats Wait. TF TF2 proven that heads are a viable type of economy. Hmm. Lots of people tied it up, like the most three symbols do not come. And the next uh, current economy? I, I, I think Trump's problem was that all the heads he was selling were only the, the same type of a head. Just yeah, types of heads? heads. Exactly. True. Like a, a, a banana head with make a mega great again on it. <laughs> or or make a more model smaller so like that that's like can, make America can sort can of target, okay again. Can local local demographics like make detail great again. Just 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 use area codes. What's the area code for Detroit? I think New York uh, is five five five. They, they, they stole the post office. Well, I, I'm sure Detroit stole more things than just the post office. Oh, it still exists, <laughs> but yeah, there's not much left of it. Anyway, we need we need topics. Ted, um, I have a topic, but I'm afraid to mention it. Do it anyway. But we have to. Ah, uh, if we don't have any other topics, I will have to mention it. Well, I will then mention it. In yes. Germany, they had a voting. Oh yes, yeah. And now the politicians have voted, and now. But what they are voting on? If gay people can get married in Germany, why would they want to do that? I mean, they, 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 they can have my potential marriage. I don't want it. Here's, here's the interesting because thing. All those votes, but yeah, but yeah, basically the it has won. So basically, yes, starting, I think July seventh, gay people can get married. And yes, the interesting thing is that Merkel voted no. That fee. Oh, uh, actually, I understand. I mean, she is pro Muslim and yeah. Islam is anti gay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Makes perfect sense. In that, in that context, did, it did makes she perfect sense. Building any, any, did she commission building any tall buildings recently? No. Ah, okay. Then. But if she were pro Islam, but I can see the conversation starting soon about polygamy. Because, you know, yeah. if. if you know, two men or two women can marry, then why can't people like, why can't the bird, if there be a marriage with three people? I will see the No, well, I can actually see many non-Muslims voting for it. <laughs> well, I think it recently happened. Some, some, some three gay people got married all together because the originally there were four gay people 
but one of them died of cancer and the, the three people were like eh, let's marry together hmm? let's they marry together or, or I don't I'm know not sure if that's how it's supposed Bra to work Brazil or something like that I mean can't you like in Amer America can't you like marry uh, roller coaster what's it called I think there's like a woman that recently got married to a roller coaster or something. Well, wow, roller coasters are sexy, all those curves. Mm -hmm. I know, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you said back that she originally wanted to vote for yes, but then she met some gay people and then she ended up voting no. Wasn't it the other way around? Maybe because she saw what kind of people. Yeah. I mean, no, but basically her party was like, what the fuck are you doing? We are supposed to be against this. And then they she basically wrote. most people are from this party because it was like in, in like, how do you say, partyless vote. So basically everyone could vote, everyone of the politicians could vote regardless of his party and what the party stance is on it. But yeah, most people from the Merkel party, of course, uh, were voting no, but there were a few who voted yes, but... It still what was kind enough. Of, what mm. kind of party are they that they support gang rapes but they don't want to allow gays to, to have marriages? Well, Muslims, no? <laughs> okay. But the, the thing about Muslims is like pretty much everyone here is talking like they were just letting all them in for because you know the economy and all those corporations were hoping, oh, sweet cheap workers cheap labor basically they can be like look we have this this uh, refugee here he will do this work for way less than you do so basically they can like push uh, wages but down then the refugees didn't work because the social benefits of not working were higher than actually working i mean you could have asked slovakia or asked about this we have gypsies we know how these things work by the way this is something i would like to point out because apparently, recently, Merkel told us that we should let in refugees in order so that so that corporations, because corporations were complaining that they are, there aren't enough workers, yeah. and our government basically replied, "Well, look, we have high unemployment. Hire us instead. <laughs> you hire us, please." The uh, thing, the, the companies are complaining that they aren't finding enough people, but the thing that they're never saying it, they aren't finding enough people for, for the way to... They aren't work. finding enough people willing to work for free. Yeah, or, pretty much. Yeah, that's the biggest when, issue. when those people are willing to work for free, the people don't have the necessary skill set, which, you know, amounts to putting two metal bars together and carrying a bucket. Well, obviously yes, they want... There they... are people who fail that qualification. They, they they want people to work for exposure. All of them. Do they even have buckets in, in North Africa or wherever the people are coming from right now? I mean, there were so many revolutions there lately that I don't think they even have buckets anymore. They lost I think the they only have nest, nest bottles. bottles. Yeah, exactly. At this point, they, they lost the ancient technology of buckets. They, they have no conception of how to use them. But you know, in those bot bottles, they will value the wa water more because they had to pay for it. Yes. I mean, it isn't that what they are building their ships out of. And then they sail on, on, on the sea. And the moment they see another ship, they make holes. And then they die because the ship is like, heh, we are Russians. Top gag. Speaking of ships, Italy recently started threatening the EU that unless they send them help to properly categorize and perform background checks on the refugees. Oh, they will stop oh. allowing in, in refugee okay. ships into their shore. So they are basically Turkey now. Sounds like it. So I mean, Italy won't it's accept like refugees country. anymore. Unless the EU will help them to properly, you know, perform background checks and find out which ones are and which ones aren't actual refugees. Which, which actually makes so perfect... What, what, 
Which, which makes perfect what sense given given that the EU wants to I mean, be I, I, like... I mean, there's... I mean we, we did that for Italy once. Italy was like, hey, check out this list of people that, that we can give you for immigrating. And our minister was like, no, okay, okay, okay. Uh, none of these are valid. And then Italy never tried again. <laughs> But yeah, isn't isn't that but the thing? Even, oh. But even if they have issues with with background checks, I mean, you can kind of look at some people and you can tell like, yeah, those people are not from Syria. They are like from Libya, or like from North Africa, not from the Middle East. I yeah. I think that that that's not even a, a background check. You just look at the person, you know, that person's not from. And that's racism. I I think I I mentioned the great tragedy that happened like. 40 people died when the truck broke in the middle of Sahara uh, and they, they were the migrants. You know, that's kind of impressive that they, they all managed to die in Sahara because that's quite a stretch away from Syria. I mean, they, they both begin with S, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's the thing that actually makes sense seeing as the EU wants to be like a quasi uh, national sovereign state you know we we have this quote-unquote country with with a shared um foreign policy and everything it makes sense to be like okay now i have to make sure that these you know that we have proper immigration policy instead of well let let's just let everyone in because it's kind of what's happening right now you can just and it's not even happening correctly because as many people keep repeating all over and over according to the international law when you have a, a refugee from a war torn country then they have the right to stay in the first country they cross borders to mm -hmm. so that that, that uh, country has a obligation to take them in uh, i'm not really sure how from syria the first country they get in is germany don't know how that works well you they, they see they have like an airship well you see yeah, at least, I, I think I, I, I get it they are not actually using boats as everybody tells us they are using airboats they, they take an airship and, and board it and then they land in Germany so technically that is the first country that they set foot for it. well you see that's because you're basically a racist rapist murderer because you know damn right I murder three people today. Exactly. So, so obviously you would say that because you know there are no borders, and everyone's welcome. <laughs> and the sad that's thing that's is that there's people that who actually home. believe this. Yes. Well, those are the people with those big metal scissors who are trying to cut a hole in, in those fences on the border. And are, are then shot at by rebel bullets because the border guards don't like that for some reason. Hmm. They're like, hey, we're trying to do our jobs and you're actively sabotaging our jobs. Yeah. Fuck off. Leave, leave our meticulously uh, maintained border alone. Okay, thanks. Then all exploded because yeah. it was very peaceful. Mm. But speaking of letting people in, <laughs> yes. No, I was just just reminded of something. Sorry, finish. Yeah. That segue. Nintendo announced something that requires requires waiting lists and everything, and also a lot of people it's trying to get into the stores. Mm. You're you're, talk you're 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 talking about the uh, Nintendo Super Nintendo Classic, aren't you? Exactly, they announced the Super Nintendo Classic Mini this week. Uh -huh. So essentially, Not it's just Super Nintendo Classic, Super Nintendo Classic Mini. Oh yeah, Deluxe Volume Two. <laughs> yeah. Because it's their. But yeah, they have Mini in the name because they are smaller than the original device. Speaking of the Super Nintendo, they are finally, after decades, releasing. Star Fox 2 on the, on, the, on the classic Super Nintendo. Yes. And also, 
uh, they learned from the mistakes. They said there will be more available, like way more available than the uh, original Nintendo Minis. And also it will come with two controllers and the, and the cable will be longer. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> now with longer cable. So essentially, it's a Nintendo sanctioned. So it's it's essentially a Nintendo sanctioned uh, emulator. No, no, it's actually it is actually from Nintendo themselves. Yeah, but they probably use some sort of emulator. No, obviously, Nintendo product. Yes. Obviously, they have to sanction the outdoor Xbox. I, I, yeah, I, also what I notice on the packaging because it's on Amazon, you can oh tell that it's an actual Nintendo product because the AC adapter is not included. Ah. <laughs> so you need still need so to go. So you're paying item. eighty quid, and Wait. you get, need to get an AC adapter. Well, you know what? Maybe we will be lucky, and the one from the original is uh, Nintendo Mini will work, which would be awesome because it's a basic phone charger. Obviously, you know what you have to do. You have to take a friend and make them lick their fingers and put one of those fingers into the socket and <laughs> put fingers into the Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But yeah, we will see. Maybe it will be still like wide, kept wide open so that hackers can still install more games on it because people could hack the a classic Nintendo Mini to like be an emulator device that could even play Nintendo 64 games from what I, from what I can recall. Yeah, it, it's like I said, it's just or when your Nintendo Classic is not classic enough. Because it's, I I doubt it's got like legit Super Nintendo hardware in there. It's just the, a modified Raspberry Pi open? that that runs an emulator. Uh yes, I think it's it's most possible because just because the original mm -hmm. hardware. It's not very accessible today. I bet, but I, think lost, I, I bet they lost half of the blueprints. That's just what happened. <laughs> I mean, you... you, you now, uh, like, for example, sound synthesizers from, from old Commodores or shit like that, yeah? Mm -hmm. You can't get any of those. There was a very limited number of them in existence, and they are all gone. And there was actually a company that tried to find all of them and buy them up. And make sound uh, soundboards out of them because apparently some musicians like that sound. Yes, and it, it ended up being very expensive, very collective stuff. Yeah, and there's, there's no more of them because there's no more of chips. And nobody's making them, and nobody probably even knows how to make them anymore. And even if they yeah. even if they did, all the copyright gets lost in the ages. Couldn't they like reverse engineer the chips on the thing? Well, because I think like maybe. back in the 80s the chips weren't too complex. <laughs> probably maybe, but they didn't do that, and I guess it wouldn't be autistic or something. Who knows? Maybe maybe that technology was lost to edges too, just like the bucket. Hmm. But yeah, but it's, it's also interesting that actually. Uh, that they actually released, uh, put a unreleased game onto it. I suppose that's also like a reason why the Switch doesn't have a proper virtual console yet, because they are like, we can sell those expensive devices to people, yeah, just, just buy like crazy and instead of virtual console. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I do question kind of the fact they are like, they have the capability to play Nintendo 64 games, yet in their basic config, they are not. Um, it is on purpose. Are they planning to release another console? Nintendo Every year. Exactly. Before. They're just... Most they're, likely. They're they just, might be, yeah. There's, there's gonna yeah. be, there's gonna be a, a yes, Nintendo 64 <laughs> Classic uh, in, in a year. Like in 2018, they're just gonna release the Nintendo 64 Classic Mini. That's actually a good question. Maybe there will be like a Game Boy Classic. And it's going to be the same fucking machine, just with official. Yes. Well, actually, actually, we don't know because, uh, uh, like, there are like uh, certain chips that Nintendo has still installed to like work with the mm -hmm. emulation. Because uh, apparently, there's like some hardware IDs and stuff that you kind of need to uh, emulate certain chips. And yes. Because uh, uh, they like use special technologies that isn't as easy to emulate with lower end hardware. Very, very special. But 
one thing at least they somewhat somewhat got the rights on the super fx chip so basically they will be able to run all the mod 7 games on it because apparently some of the games weren't even on the virtual console because they somehow didn't want to run <laughs> they are reverse the engineering their own thing and they are failing That kind of seems uh, what's, what's happening. I don't happening. know the Excel cards were behind it because I only looked into it a bit, but yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Especially interesting if if they actually up the security there or if the, mm. it's still the same. Well, the, the fact that you said some of them didn't actually run, that, that plays into the thing I said, that the, the 80s and 90s technology of these things is lost. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure it's just cheaper to buy oh, like a... To, to just buy like a huge bulk of like arm chips or yeah, AM or is. something. Yeah, because yeah. you can yeah. just like, as you said, Raspberry Pis and you as consumer can get them cheap. So a company that orders them in millions. Well, obviously, plus you pull out one of those 90s chips and they show it to the tech and he's like, what is this? This is older than I am. And then you, ha then you have to call that guy who's in retirement the past 10 years. And he's like, fuck off. You, you guys can make Raspberry Pis that I are six I times went. more. I spent 30 years of my life doing this. No Do more. Just doing buy this. Raspberry. Yeah. Just, you know, these Raspberry Pis are a multitude more powerful than the, you know, more, most powerful computers back then. So it is kind of amazing. I remember going to a, a yeah. job fair back in uh, high school and they were like, Oh yeah, in, in the future we'll be able to put this 800 megahertz computer on a single chip. I was like, no, fuck off. That, that's, that's just fucking ridiculous. It's yeah. never going to happen. Mm -hmm. And now we've got fucking gigahertz processors on, on a board the size of a credit card. Well, it's it's not... Fair, we didn't exactly put... We didn't put a 80 megahertz chip, uh, 80 megahertz on one chip. No, you know, it that still that requires like a board. Eight, eight, 800 megahertz times four. <laughs> or eight. It depends on how cheap your phone is. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it's not Both in a single chip, but it's... Uh, I mean, it, it just happens that a random phone that I found on the internet has a higher resolution than Fanboy's computer. Lol. <laughs> For no reason whatsoever, then take... <laughs> that they could... <laughs> But why? Yeah, even my phone has a resolution of 2880 by 1440 because yeah, they uh, wanted the 18 to 9 aspect ratio because now ultra wide is coming to phones. I, I think that's, that's what I have to, or 2500 something. That's yeah. pretty it's impressive. Really close, no, it's really closely overblown for the fact that it's a thing that you have in your hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, there, there are a few phones that even have 4K. <laughs> Well, my phone, my phone is 1080p, and I can I can see any fucking pixels on the thing unless I really make a conscious effort to spot them. Well, at least it's it's a phone. Yeah. You probably you probably need like 1600 by 900. <laughs> but the thing is that yeah, when, unless you when for some reason are trying to trying to watch movies in HD on your mm -hmm. phone. Mm -hmm. But but yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, but that's that's also. That's also a ridiculous part about the display of my phone. It's 1440p and it's also I HDR. <laughs> like it's like an actual I HDR display that can show, uh, display HDR content. So it has a higher resolution than my uh, uh, P PC screen <laughs> and has better dynamic range. That yes. What kind of phone do you have? LG G6. Oh, that explains a lot. I have LG G3. Yeah. I guess this, this company just doesn't know where to stop. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, I'm still using my HTC One I mean, H8, and it works perfectly yeah, it's fine. Time for, it's time for a new phone. Well, no. Artex, I'm still using my Nokia 3510e. It's nice. But that's a that's you a. You know what the I mean? The I mean, it has a color display. Oh. Woo! That's the only thing the I stands for? Okay. I think. I don't know. They, they look the same. Mm -hmm. I, I, my first own phone was a Siemens C60. 
Wow, Siemens. That that that. Uh, I had C6. it. And and uh, I also had it with this extra clip on camera that was like wow. 640 by 480. Wow, that's almost as advanced as, advanced as the um, Game Boy printer. And yes, I'm not shitting you. That that's a <laughs> thing that existed. The I Game it, Boy. I actually had it. Don't laugh at it. I'm pretty sure I have, still have it somewhere. <laughs> Wait, do you have a Game Boy printer? No, no, the, oh. uh, the, my old phone, or at least the camera, because oh, okay. I don't it's, it's recall from how, it anyway. It's amazing how the technology advanced. Now mm. you can buy a printer that prints your Game Boy. Yep. Mm. It's, it's really insane, like, basically, with the phones, because of phones you don't need any uh, point-and-shoot cameras anymore, because nope. they're kind of pointless, because your phone is making, like, you are the point and shoot. Uh, exactly. But your Unless phones are making better picture better. Well, yeah, obviously it sucks when you need to zoom at, at, at anything because it's like and then it starts using the, the digital zoom, which is basically yeah, magnif actually, magnifying. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. actually not even that because like the higher end phones have no dual lens system. Oh, uh -huh, yes. Well, that, that, and there are a few phones that actually have optical zoom, but that's, yeah. But yeah, but most, those are rare like, and point and shoot cameras, you know, they're very cheap ones also. Like, oh, like, yeah, well, the, uh, from my experience, like in, what was it, 2010 or 2009, something like that, those cheap point and shoot cameras are basically producing big splotches of, of colors. Yeah. And uh, when you look at them from a few meters away, you can see the picture. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is, it is like, these are 15 megapixels. Oh yeah, yes, that, that that's nice, but the, the ISO is like five. <laughs> it's absolutely no tolerance on 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 any lack of light. It's we actually uh, we actually had like I think a tw twelve megapixel camera that we bought on eBay, but then we like look it up and it was actually like three point two uh, megapixels. It just got in interpolated to twelve megapixels. Oh yeah. Uh, oh oh god. I I once did. Get a get get my hands. Well, we were on a party and it was an evening, so it was nearly dark, and the camera had triple megapixels. You can imagine the result of those photos. Big splotches of color. Yeah, actually, the phone that I actually the phone. I, I'm, that I'm pretty that sure those point and shoot cameras were relying on the fact that you are going to downsize it to like 640 yeah. by by 480. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. For your my for your GeoCities phone. website, yeah, for your ge for your GeoCities website, <laughs> and your 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 zine uh, e-zine. Yeah. I think that this is optimized. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but pretty pretty much all the uh, phone cameras are like eating the you know the ca camera manufacturers lunch because like traditional camera manufacturers like the lower end segment is basically like completely dying off because like most people are just getting yeah. you know phones because they don't really need any phone and shoot because the phone can do it and like and they don't know, they yeah. don't know how to take photos anyway exactly and they have a camera on it and like only like the hobbyists and enthusiasts are gonna get the more expensive yeah, cameras anyway normally people are like lol snail point at the snail take a picture apply 17 filters and put it on Instagram. Exactly. Yep. Pretty much. I mean, people are happy with the image quality of the iPhone, so yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are taking pictures with their iPads. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> the most... been doing that in the time when iPads had like nothing 0.8 megapixels. Oh, goodness. That's, that's fantastic. Yeah, those people look fucking oh, retarded. A, I, I... a, a friend who's into cameras did remark that she saw all this all the cameras getting more and more expensive well i guess there's a certain saturation after a few years uh you know i have a a nikon d7000 i mean i did not buy it from a retail by any means but i have mm -hmm. it right yeah so it trickles down and since every new camera is it's not not really that much of an upgrade it's upgrade in when it comes to new technologies but you know as a camera it's still basically the same thing so people who have d7000 
sometimes want to play free upgrade because why would I buy D7, uh, D7300 when I have all that I need and actually they are removing buttons from the high-end models which is insane well the D7500 is not, not really a successor to the D7000 and yes I'm glad that people are actually upset at it because it is kind of off because it is kind of like cutting features that was very awesome in the D7000 Yes, the removing buttons series. and the also removing the second card slot. The feature because, you yeah. know, all those lower camera had, had like three buttons because it's very confusing to people and if you want something mm -hmm. else like, I don't know, uh, adjusting your ISO, <laughs> just go into the menu and, and, and fish it in, in between the menus, right? Well, yeah, I have a button for that. Oh, exactly, Aster. Yeah, but it uh, removed the second card slot from like the D, uh, compared to the C7200, they removed the second card slot. Why would you do that? that because okay. otherwise, okay. because otherwise no, people would just buy the D7, uh, because otherwise people would buy the D7500 instead of the D500. <laughs> but now I can take twice as many pictures, or take one, uh, or, or or take uh, RAWs on one picture and JPEGs on the other uh, picture. On one card and JPEGs on the other card. Oh, it was very very no, I just, just have like redund redundancy and get a yeah. case that I want to see card space because that at, at the at the least you have redundancy indeed. <laughs> yeah, I because agree. I had already a SD card die and I like that's Aww. a very important feature for me like having just copies. Yeah, that's like the the biggest feature that removed. Oh yeah, also Canon an announced a new camera. Oh no. Uh, it's the Canon 60 Mark II. Oh god. And it also is like, uh, reads a lot like the Canon uh, 5D Mark IV, except it also has on, it's a full frame camera. It also has only one SD card slot. Mm. UHS 1, not even 2. <coughs> UHS 1. <laughs> and, it, and it can only record in 1080p 60. <laughs> But in 4K. <laughs> what? Is that a successor to 5D? What? What is this? No, it's not the successor. It's the successor to the original 60, but because otherwise it would, okay. would be able to record 4K. You know, people wouldn't want to buy the uh, 5D. But mm -hmm. also stupid. Meanwhile, Sony is like, look at all autos, even those entry level bodies are all have 4K. <laughs> like everyone else is like, even Nikon is including like in all the new cameras that aren't like the D3000 to 5000 uh, including 4K by default now phones have 4K by default now yes of course Sony, Panasonic, everyone else Fuji even is doing 4K god damn it Fuji still didn't die, that's awesome but actually Fuji is actually they evolved quite well because right now they are having kind of good sales because the mirrorless cameras are very good yeah. like the X-T2 is very popular it no, is they, actually they, a they, good they, camera they faced a kind of crisis when they were like oh people are not using films anymore well, yeah. but now yeah but yeah they restructured the company and they yeah. kind of have uh, you know they are doing well again meanwhile Nikon is kind of <laughs> dying they fired also a lot of their staff, like management, because... That's what you get for removing SD card slots. <laughs> I, I, I did hear that the mm. AFP lenses are good at, uh, at autofocusing, like they are pretty fast. Mm. Yeah, they are also fast. Yeah, pretty fast and they're also pretty quiet. Yeah, it's that's, that's thing like ultra quiet. Yeah. Yes, and but they, they, are good. They, they don't work with D7000, obviously. Yes, of course. But I also like the E lenses now that I have like an electronic diaphragm, just yeah. like uh, Canon had like in the started in the 80s when they just <laughs> ditched the old lens mount and they and they just had like, look guys, you have to buy new lenses, but it's like, oh, <laughs> look at this huge uh, diameter that you can. Flange it onto, and also you have electronic stuff, and now you can like catch it up like 20 years later. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nice. like, but the big ca camera manufacturers like uh, ca Canon and Nikon have huge trouble because like all the mirror, 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 mirrorless 
uh, companies are like, look, our cameras are, cameras are selling better now. They are smaller, they have more features. Meanwhile, Woo! Nikon is, oh, we are still going to release mirror cameras with mirror. Even Canon is slow, is now releasing mirrorless cameras. <laughs> Only Nikon is. <laughs> God. It's like, yeah, GG. It's, it's sad. In, in, in before they are going to release a high end that's not full frame. No. Uh, also, rumors say that Pentax is not doing very good. <laughs> <laughs> because they also have only mirror, mirror based cameras and no mirrorless. So, yeah, it's it's gonna be interesting in the next few years. In the worst case, know. we will get cheap Nikon gear. <laughs> it's not like people understand mirrorless cameras. It's, it's, it's I mean, I mean if, if they if they wanted cameras with a mirror, they wouldn't buy compacts. Yeah, but the thing is, like, also you right back then you needed a mirror because you know you didn't have really a se digital sensor that you know. Yeah. Damn it. I agree. The mirror, and right now all the focusing on the sensors is getting way way better. It's like on the Sony A9, the new one. It's like pretty much. Or almost on power with the D5 and like the Canon, the ultra, ultra expensive sports cameras. It's Unfortunately, like there's no camera good enough to make Astra focus. <laughs> Speaking of focus, this is, is going to be a very cheesy segue because I'm actually segueing back like to, to to previous point or previous topic, which the was future. yeah. Well, this is about the future. future. It is about the future. future. It is about the future. Astra. You see, okay, it's okay. About the okay, so so the, so so the Germany had this little oh. vote thing going on, right? So they were like, yeah, from the, from now on, the gay can can do the marries, mm -hmm. right? They can now marry. Yes. Oh, oh, by the way, uh, there's also this this uh, youth censorship law. So we're just uh, just to prove oh, it. Mary gay. Yeah, but. But okay to be so. perfectly fair it was uh, apparently it was properly uh brought up in the news and like some people that are like okay. yeah they they are you know just sort of passing this law without even telling the populace about it yeah they are actually telling it wait wait, wait. are they telling the gays that's important yes it's his front front page well, news all over the place are, i think that i think the gays might be actually happy about this law because you know people that are against gays can like get their stuff censored now oh happy gays and and, and stuff you know how yeah. it goes uh, i'm but not yeah, i'm not sure if i would be happy our, about uh, if if the government is going yeah, to well, censor well, people what am i supposed to do well yeah, what, yeah, what yeah, are you supposed to do we can protest oh. but no about the, like a politicians will be like we don't care anyway they will just do their thing because you know people protest all the refugee stuff and they are still letting them well that that's the thing you 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 know the moment you you stop protesting and letting your voice be heard and whatnot they win they already win but if you don't do anything you, you know you, you know you know when protests happen at what time usually at yeah, times where right you know, now, people with jobs you know at times where people with jobs actually are at work Keep mm -hmm. job. usually people that protest are like either students or people with our jobs because the people with jobs are stuck doing the work yes so either the rich or the homeless right and you, there was parties you can't even recognize who's homeless and who's the rich because they all have beards and but then but then again that are from the 1997 that that what's that's that's something that makes this new law even more cyn uh, cynical because now you basically make it more harder for people to voice unpopular opinions that would otherwise you know go on the street and protest because we all know that the definitions of quote unquote hate speech are very flexible and they are basically whatever yeah, the government disagree with well from from what i've well yeah but basically you know any anything that goes against the uh 
against social justice is, is hate speech basically so so yeah if, if you don't like this the way refugees are handled and you want to you know communicate this on the the facebook's and twitter's well now the german government's like yeah we're, we 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 basically um told the we're basically forcing social media sites to basically tell us any everything there's to know about you and uh you can expect a little visit we, we, from we us we made a decision that that's going to help the common man mm -hmm. i mean a, a common non-gender specific person <laughs> a zier oh. it, it reminds me uh there, there's a festival in the glastonbury mm -hmm. and every year they are trying to wake up the, the what is his name arthur the king of britons so mm -hmm. you know he, he finally gets up from his eternal sleep and and fucking helps the britons <laughs> which he never does fucking asshole which means that it's going to be even worse anyway uh so and then they 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 managed to open it and there was this guy talking at the opening his name is jeremy Corbyn. maybe you heard about him well, oh, just, just he, a little he, bit. He got a few more percent in the. He got a few more percent in the last elections, and that made him that made him think he won, even though he didn't. But it's, it's kind of funny looking at him thinking he won, even mm -hmm. though he didn't. Well, oh. the co the conservatives didn't win either. Neither. Yeah, but, but they were like, "Hey, Irish people, come here!" And then they yeah. were the Irish people. We are Lib Dems. <laughs> yes. We. Do you want to be calm? Deputy Prime Minister? Well, the, uh, why aren't the Irish people mostly like, we are going to help you, but you'll give us money? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> That's great. It's politics. I don't into politics. I really don't care anymore. Uh, well, so, I was I was um, listening to what Jeremy Corbyn had to say. Mm -hmm. What? Do you, wait, 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 wait. Do you, you listen to the other side? You no, fiend. I Jeremy Corbyn. He's sexy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway. He, he was talking about how everybody on the festival is united and you know there are no people who are, who are evil and, and shit like that and then he's like M maybe somebody should take a uh, a lesson from this Mr. Trump just look at this wall that's around us and you know at that moment you realize that the festival has a wall around them to keep all those evil people outside Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Um, there's an analogy. There's an analogy to be found there. I, I'm just not entirely sure what it is. I can't quite pinpoint it out, but there's an analogy. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, you, you yeah, pretty. So, but it was fun. He pretty much presented that one on the silver platter. It's like, <laughs> mm, you, you might have wanted to choose your wording differently because. This is kind of making case for hmm, having a fiscal barrier actually seems to do uh, help a lot. <laughs> it seems to work. <laughs> when, you keep, when you want to keep people outside. <laughs> but yeah, Jeremy Corbyn, the, the kind of guy that would say, you know, this uh, Phil Castro guy, he was a swell guy. He was great. Also, Venezuela's doing just fine. Fine. It's the prime I, example of <laughs> socialism. Yeah, but th there's, there's, there's no soldiers stealing helicopters and telling people to riot. And mm. there's, there's no chance of civil war there at all. Nope. And They're all living together very peacefully. Because, you know, uh, it's a worker's paradise, you see. No one owns anything. It's fucking great. <laughs> Except, of course, the, the, the politicians yes, and, and whatnot. They actually own everything. But and as, as we learn in communism, when nobody, or rather when everybody owns everything because, you know, it's all socialized, uh, nobody really cares about anything. Because, mm -hmm. you know, somebody else will fix this. It's, it's everybody's after all. I don't have to care about it. Also, that means I can steal this because somebody else will just replace it. It also means that oh look this this these people look at these people owning property and businesses and whatnot uh, let's just take it and then you're surprised oh, that, that, that obviously that happens in, in the beginning yeah and and then they're surprised oh, you're saying your family had had this little butcher shop for seven generations well guess what 
You are now the employee in the butcher shop. Mm -hmm. Also, we are paying you 10% of of you of what you had before. And no, we don't care that you had just to buy bread. <laughs> <laughs> or 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 uh, it used to happen here that there was like a, a family that had a a farm for generations, right? And that, then the communists came, well, and socialists, whatever. And they were like, huh, you don't agree with us. I think we, we can't let you run this farm anymore. You are now going to take care of the horses, and the farm is going to be led by this guy who, who, were, who was feeding pigs because he agrees with us. And then they were very surprised that the farm went through shit in three years. <laughs> Literal shit, because pigs and shit a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Oh, boy. Also, yeah, that's that's a nice investment you made into our country. Uh, we're, we're just gonna take it. Uh, what's this? You're you're taking your money. You're you're putting it on an offshore bank account. D no. How can we take it now? Yes, exactly. Give us our give us our money back. Yeah, I know it's your money, but give, us give it back. back. Give it back, please. Will you, will you... Give it back. Give, give. You're, you're, you're pulling us into a recession. Oh, wait. Mm. <laughs> this it's not your fault. <laughs> and, that, and that's how capital flight works. <laughs> but, but yeah, did, did he say anything else that was embarrassing for himself at the uh, concert thingy? Well, he, he said the usual thing. Like, we are here for the people and people are good. Also people. Hmm. And the people who are not people are not people, I guess. You know, the the I I found the the irony delicious that he's in the well, what's it called in, in the lead of a labor party, and yet, yet it seems like the people who are in the labor party or voting it are usually like young people with rich parents, hmm. basically the oh, people who don't have to do any labor. <laughs> How does that work? People who don't the real work world works yes yes obviously i mean i mean labor as it's traditionally means a manual work that's usually hard yeah i don't think these people like do that kind of work no it's really hard to go to starbucks and order that 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 way too expensive coffee you need to go out you, you need to go into the streets you know Oh my gosh, and they didn't even have pumpkin spice latte. Oh, such a labor. Mm -hmm. I know, right? You're, ca you're catching on. <laughs> Pathetic. Oh, yeah, you know, I watched the entire speech. I learned a thing or two. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was probably it, it was it was probably from Sargon, wasn't it? He, he posted he pretty much posted the entire thing gave commentary on on it yeah. Th th thankfully he wasn't there so jeremy Corbyn didn't have to call him a garbage human mm -hmm. now now i just want to see an interview with, with sargon and corbin that, that that's not going to end well <laughs> though at least they can at, at least fully avoid any questions for the entire hour at, at at least he at least corbin can't call him a sexist because you know <laughs> uh, we don't know what corbin identifies as he probably identifies as a i don't know street Labor. post <laughs> <laughs> my my <laughs> gen my my no, he, he identifies i think he identifies as the people I, I'm, yeah, I identify as the people. My pronouns are uh, P, piss, and uh, <laughs> and that, that is oh yeah, P, piss, and populous. So P went to the store to get piss supplies. <laughs> people uh, said said that or whatever. <laughs> Oh, God. Even, I don't even know how this pronoun works, to be honest. Oh yeah, and, and now it's it's a crime in Can Canada to actually mis misgender someone. So if you walk up to someone I mean, who it, wants it, to be, who wishes to be referred to as piss, and you just say he, 
then you can be and thrown be like, into hey, jail. Bro. Like I'm not your bro, friend. I'm not your friend, bro. Etc. Etc. Anyway, we can yeah, we can it's probably it's we, Canada, so. we we can probably bring up one more topic before. Uh, let's see, yeah, one more topic before calling it night. So, does anyone have I one have more topic? Internet, and I have seen nothing but ruin and horror. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that life is strange. It's not only getting a sequel; it's also getting a prequel. Okay. Honestly, if you want to see Life is Strange done right, you should just get the sexy brutal. Or kill yourself. That also works. So yeah, apparently that's going to be Life is Strange too, with different characters. So we have a chance to not have completely retarded characters this time around. Or we have a chance to have even more completely retarded characters than in the first game. Also, as I said, there's a prequel. And the prequel is that you remember that that person with blue hair from the game, you know, the one that, that kept getting killed constantly by her own stupidity. And if you didn't have the superpower of returning back time, she would die at least 75 times. Well, uh, in, in this game you play as her before she got the blue hair. And apparently she's a complete retard. Well, yeah. can you at least play her in a way so she's not a complete retard? Uh, no, because cutscenes. Like, oh. it, it was all about friends and not being able to make friends, and then she was crying and all, all, all shit like that. The, why the sexy brutal is better? I don't know. I, I, I saw like three minutes, five minutes of the trailer. Um, it made little sense. I, even in context of the first game, it made very little sense. I, I think they fired half of the writers and replaced the rest with, uh, of, of them with pinball machines or something. Well, a pinball machine ma might write better than the average. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, they, they kind of, I think they did that in the process of the first game, to be fair, because uh, the last episode, they didn't, it was, it was obvious, they didn't know how to end the story. It's like, oh shit, this, this is actually getting popular, we didn't think of this, what to do to not disappoint people? Oh, I know, let's just ignore everything. And then they made one ending, in which everything got destroyed, and they never touched on anything because the, the grills left the town. And the other ending was, never, ever, any of this, it, it never happened. Ever. It was all, all just this, a dream. Everything that led to this moment is absolutely meaningless, you faggot. Also, she's gonna die. Oh, basically... so it is basically just Mass Effect. Yes, it's yeah, extremely. It, yeah. It's worse than Mass Effect. It's Mass Effect gave you three choices. This gives only two. And they are not even color coded. <laughs> <laughs> also, I think uh, the. At least in Mass Effect, you could have alien sex. Ooh, lewd. You could. Bang some people in this game as well. Well, that's very misogynistic. Is it misogyny? Misogyny. Nobody gives a damn about soginies. <laughs> soginies are a real problem, guys. Hmm? Mm. Almost as big a problem as, as the frozen peaches. Almost. Oh, and some desi and some antiseptic gel. <laughs> well, and that's all I have to say for now. Okay. Unless I remember something, which I probably won't. Also, my, the picture of Pauline is more or less done. So, so do you do you like it back? Mm. I like it well done. I would be uh, not as satisfied if it was like rare or medium. Are you going to return to Overwatch next time? Yes. And next time I'll be drawing one of the dudes. So next time it's going to be, I don't know. <laughs> I'll probably end up drawing Hanzo. Because I actually don't care all that much for Genji as Hanzo. a character. Also... Hanzo. Hanzo and then there are Genji and Bastion left. 
also, I'm, I'm, also, also, I'm pretty sure that Astra is a huge la lady boner for Hanzo. She just doesn't want to admit it. In before, this is the episode where... Overwatch needs three more characters. Okay. An evil Omni, an Ooh. evil gorilla, and a cyborg dolphin. A cyborg dolphin? Well, that's rather random. Yes. But then again... The ulti is the cyborg... I have a perfect ulti for the cyborg dolphin. Okay. It, it rapes everything on map to death. <laughs> even the friends. Amazing. Even, <laughs> e even the Omnix. Especially the Omnix. It's a cyborg after all. Mm -hmm. It swings both ways, baby. And by it, we, we mean the, the cyborg schlong of... Well, dolphins are basically penises of the sea. Yeah. Did, did, did Doomfist actually get announced yet? They, they keep teasing him, but no, he was not officially announced yet. I, uh, I think they're just gonna keep it for a BlizzCon. Or they're, they're, or they're just no, never going to announce him ever. Yes, it's BlizzCon. Just, BlizzCon. It's... That's the thing. You know what Blizzard did? It was, it was, it was, it was very well received and everybody loved it. They're they're going to re 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 recruit it. No, they are not going to rename it themselves to shit shit that. But uh, they they released a a boot for Diablo three, and it happens to be a necromancer, which is obviously a a very good choice because they didn't have a necromancer class in the game from the start at all. No, which mm -hmm. doesn't, doesn't exist. This is marginalizing jungle people. Well. That's out of the way. It's it's a necromancer, kind of like the from the the one from the first game, except without any of the fun abilities. He just makes oh. it endlessly summon skeletons. Yes, you actually don't need a, a corpse to summon skeletons. You but but, but you forgot that you forgot the, you forgot you forgot the most important fun ability of the new one. Uh -huh. It costs you fifteen dollars. <laughs> Yes, obviously. That's, that's the summoning price for the necromancer. It out how in Diablo 2, when you basically a team up between the necromancer and the paladin, ah. was the most OP thing ever. So I assume you can't do it here. The, the way I look at it, uh, obviously in this game you don't have the paladin, so that's a moot point. You just have the follower crusader. Uh, well. The way I look at it, the Necromancer is the same as the one from Diablo 2, and he, he realizes how terrible Diablo 3 is, and so he refuses to go there for free. At least that way I can keep some sanity. Yo! I got a miss when you were like, oh no, this is new box. This new box has Diablo 2 written on it. Is this an expansion? Then right, it's an expansion. It has a it has a whole fucking axe in it. Oh hey, it has a bonus. They threw in uh, two new classes. Uh, now it's like two new classes. Oh no, it's not even two. One new classes. Pay fifteen dollars. Then you'll be rich, except not really because it'd be fifteen dollars. <laughs> yeah, but it's only it's pretty much only the class. You you you'll be enriched by the experience of being an, a necromancer who just right clicks a few times to summon all the skeletons and it just hangs back and occasionally throws something to replenish mana obviously it, it's blizzard they are ashamed of the fact they ever use mana because they don't seem to ever give any uh, ever have any heroes with mana in them except for Witch doctor which is probably because they replaced him with the necromancer necromancer has a sense because that sounds edgier and cooler also here we have skulu again and i'm going to kill her again that, that's like a little joke where it's about time. Yeah, there we go. She's dead now. She, yeah, I just keep bringing her back from the dead. For far too long. Mm -hmm. She needs to be replaced by a way prettier lady. Nice. No. Needs to be replaced by better hair. Mm -hmm. Well, Pauline's got way better hair than Skulu. Scutalini? Yeah, Scutalini. Totalini? I mean, she's mm, even. Tasty. She's even got better hair than Sweetie Belle. And then Azix made pasta out of Skittles. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, this seems about right. Well, maybe this is a good good time to to end today's episode because I think we pretty much covered Itami all the uh, topics you wanted to bring up. Unless someone has something that they Maybe really want to bring up still. We didn't want to bring up. Hmm? Especially the topics we didn't want to bring up actually. Well, do we have any topics that we don't want to bring up? Because I sure can think mm -hmm. of any. My blank, my blank's gone mind. That just means <laughs> the, uh, the only topic that I can bring up is that that, that Pauline looks nice. I oh. suppose. Well, there we go. Another satisfied. Oh god. You deserve your ten exposure. So yeah, another satisfied customer. So yeah, that's just just you know very subtle reminder that you can you can you know actually commission these drawings at the rate. Money so he does shit for you. Exactly. You, you know you pay me money and I do a thing for you. It's almost as if that's the basis of our economic system. You pay someone and they do it for you. To draw actual shit. Yep. If you want me to draw a big pile of shit, you pay me money and I'll draw you a big pile of shit. But then again, why, no, why, I'm not why, into why would anybody girls? hire you to draw Adam Sandler? Mm -hmm. Well, why obviously if... <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, obviously I would just draw the, the deer eating shit. That was a very endearing scene oh, that needed to exist. Oh yeah, uh, I, I'm I'm oh, not yeah, I'm not exactly excited. Honestly, I, honestly it, it, and they removed all the names I knew and put their names that I didn't know. Yeah. It's I uh, actually saw that an artist uh, called West. Uh, he actually, quote unquote, fixed the poster by removing all those names that people didn't know and just put the names of the voice actors of the that the people knew oh wow so it just occurred to me that this is episode 69 so it's very fitting that pauline is on it <laughs> Lewd. it does no, not the episode summed it up perfectly it you don't it don't the need to be new to perform 69 lewd. it is lewd but not nude. Yet. Also, it's one of those things in, in, in Zodiac. Suspicious. Yep. And 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 Pauline's eyes are blue, and I'm pretty sure that it's related to fishy yeah, somehow. Fishes. Yes. She's infested by fishes. What mm -hmm. do? You, you you see in the original game she's, she's standing on on in, in new york and new york is close to the sea and in the sea there's fishes and th th you know you can you, so and there's probably a shipyard and everything uh, now and i know who did 9 11. yep with the fucking fishes there i just wrote the next episode of game theory so you can get your shitty clickbaity clicks I never never should have stopped fishing those hmm? This is why we need to resurrect the British fishing industry. Well, game theory is fairly uh, uh, harmless, that, but it is. We, yeah, that's why we have Game Explain, who is gonna analyze a, a two-minute trailer and make it like one and a half hour video out of it. You mean this this oh, this guy that talks like this all the uh, fucking actually, time? Not sure if clickbait or autistic. Both. Well, that that guy has a very weird, weird lisp in in the way he talks. It's it's weird. Actually, and, and yet he gets more views than the radio rotting ad. That, that's that's the worst part about it. Anyway, so yeah, that that sure was an episode. I hope you hated it. Uh, and uh, oh. actually, here's an important here's here's an important announcement. It's very important. We're still recording. One more announcement: there will not be an episode next week because I'll be busy. So no no episode next week, but the week after that, there sure will be a new episode. 
so thank you all for watching i hope you ate it and then 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 you'll be rich i don't know hope you feed yourself and any any parting words before we go into this very very long hiatus of of two weeks okay that's all i need to hear thank you for watching bye